Zesty, fresh, spicy, and ready within 30 minutes, Thai sweet potato fish cakes are a delicious midweek recipe that you're going to love. Hi, I'm nutritionist Scott Bapti and welcome to my high protein kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Thai fish cakes, but we're going to use nutrient-rich sweet potato, which is a great source of the antioxidant beta-carotene, and it also gives the dish a delicious underlying sweetness. Another benefit of using sweet potato is that it's a great source of fiber, so that will help to keep you feeling full and satisfied for longer. You'll be able to get all the ingredients down at the local supermarket, and if you follow this recipe, it's certain to be a real crowd pleaser. Anyway, let's get cooking. The first thing you want to do is get the sweet potato boiling so it is ready for the fish cakes. First off, you want to peel all the sweet potatoes. I always use a knife for peeling them because I find the skin is often really tough. It's quite hard to do with a peeler. And then you want to chop them up and pop them into a pan of boiling water. You can chop these up quite small, much smaller than you would if you were just boiling them because this will actually help them cook quicker. And you're going to be mashing them all up anyway. So size and making them pretty doesn't really matter. While they're boiling for about 15 minutes or so, you want to chop up your spring onions and your coriander. You can include the stalks in the coriander as well. These actually have a lot more flavor than the leaves, but so long as you make them nice and small so you don't get huge bits of leaf in your fish cake. Then add some soy sauce, some lime juice, some chili powder, along with breadcrumbs. They're just some bread that are blended, not golden breadcrumbs and about two cans of tuna. Mix all that through and so it is nicely combined. And then when your sweet potatoes are ready, just drain them and get them all mashed up. Once you've mashed them, add the rest of the mixture to the pan. Oh, and at this point in the video, I always ask if you could just hit that like button, it would be hugely appreciated. It allows you to see more of these videos and it really does help me out. Then you want to mix the sweet potato through with the tuna and herb mixture and then get your hands stuck in. There's no other way to do this without getting your hands dirty and just form them into nice patties. You can probably get about eight. I prefer making them a bit smaller or you could go for six larger ones. It's entirely up to you. Then you want to heat some coconut oil on a low heat so that it doesn't just burn the outside. And you want to gently cook these for about four to five minutes each side. Once they're nice and golden brown, it's time to remove them from the pan and plate up. It depends on how big you've made them, but I think a reasonable serving is probably two or three. Squeeze some lime juice on top to finish, along with some fresh coriander. And now for the most important, and the best bit, the taste testing. Delicious everything you're expecting. Light, zesty, the sweetness from the sweet potato gives it a delicious underlying flavor. The chili isn't too overpowering, so it'd be great for the rest of the family. Yeah, really, really good. And if you do want it spicier, you could easily just add more chili, or if you don't want any at all, you can leave it out. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Before you go, please hit that like button because you're more likely to see these recipes in the future if you do, and it really helps me out. Click subscribe if you're a new follower and leave a comment if you do make these. I'm off to go and eat the rest, they're just too good. But thanks again for watching, I'll speak to you soon.